Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Super Kai Guy channel. In this video, I will show you how to test your battery with a KZ battery analyzer on my BMW 550. If you live in the part of the world where it gets to negative temperature and you'd like to make sure your battery is not about to die on you and leave you stranded somewhere, one of these battery analyzers is a great little tool to have. Of course, if you have one of these expensive scanners, it may offer similar functionality, but this battery tester is only $35 after current discounts and coupons on Amazon and shows you clear information with very easy steps to follow. My car showed me that I need to charge the battery, so let's take a look and see what we can find. The hookup is very easy. All you really have to do is connect it to your battery. The red wire goes on the positive terminal and the black on the negative. Once connected, it powers on and you're ready to start testing your battery. Works on regular flooded AGM, GEL, and EFB batteries. The battery type is specified in the battery itself, as well as the cold cranking apps. Well, at least when it was new. It's important that this information is correct or the result will not be as accurate. As you can see, my battery needs at the very least a good charge, as the voltage is below 12.4 volts, and cold cranking apps are about 45% of what it should be. The next step shows us if the charging system is doing its job. We select the second option and start the car. Once the car is running, the voltage you see should not be lower than 13.3 volts and not higher than 15 volts. If it's lower than 13.3, the alternator is not charging. And if it's higher than 15 volts, the voltage regulator may be faulty and is overcharging your battery. The third option is a startup test, which shows us how low the voltage drops when you start the car. If it goes below 9.6 volts when starting, the battery probably needs to be replaced. And the last option is maximum load test. The battery voltage should not drop below 12.8 volts while you have a heavy load on the system. I turn the lights on, the AC, and all of the heated seats on for this test. As you can see, the voltage actually went up a little, which indicates a healthy charging system. If your voltage is dropping at idle, you can increase the RPMs to about 2000 RPM and hold it there for the duration of the test, and then check again. So that's pretty much how you do a battery test. And as far as the scanner, it seems very consistent, which I really like, but it also seems to have a very short cable, which I wish it was a little bit longer. This might be okay for most cars, but it's a little bit more difficult on a car like this, where the battery is in the deep end of the trunk. Battery tests are simple and a good way to make sure your battery and charging systems are working properly. So next time you see a warning on your dash, don't run to a shop and get your battery or the alternator replaced. Test it first. In my case, all the battery needed was a good charge due to lack of long drives. It may not be perfect, but it's still got some life in it. So why replace it? I hope this helps you troubleshoot your battery as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one.